Can we use yeah, your phone to record? And also roll the record? Anybody who is here will be carried by six. Okay, what's the name of the string? That's the story is called this. I'm speaking. Hello, I'm here with Black Hoodie. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. So I just saw the most amazing performance of my life, something you really probably have never seen before. Black Hoodie performs in this black hoodie. What does this represent? Oh, I don't know. Formlessness, uh, nothingness, you know, uh, disembodiment, just being a voice. Well, this project that I'm, the, I'm in a group called Rap Noir, so it's uh, me and the producer Unjust. And uh, rap has always been a form of storytelling and a lesson teaching, and we try to, try to do it in a way that's not preachy and you know just kind of sheds light on uh, how wild life can be and how dope life can be at the same time. You see, poverty is like human sacrifice. That's what it adds to me, the human sacrifice. They know what deadly but they use the gold you. It's hard to tell fools that to buy when it comes to the What do you want people to do after they hear you? Well, this project is inspired by sort of Alfred Hitchcock, uh, sort of film noir thing, that's why it's called rap noir. And I just want people to uh, really, uh, I don't know, look, look deeper, look at all the narratives that are going on around them and, and, and just, just be a little bit more analytical about what's going on in their lives and in life in general. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's entertainment when it comes down to it, but if that entertainment can spark you to, uh, you know, uh, look beyond the veneer that we're sort of putting out, you know, especially as our society moves towards a more... Uh, outward uh, focused uh, reality, mm -hmm. I think that that would be the best thing, you know, if people decide to take a look a little bit deeper. What's your favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie? Oh, probably Vertigo. Vertigo, that's a great one. Have you seen The Rope? No, <laughs> and I've that you're like the oh, second person. Um, yeah, I'm Lincoln. I okay, need to check it out. Yeah, Good you one? do. Yeah, okay. great one. All takes place in one room. Wow. Kind of like how we live our entire lives inside of one body. Oh, okay. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. And, and I'm gonna keep that in mind as I watch it. How far do you want your music to go? Um. Well, I figure as far as it can go. <laughs> in this uh, sort of worldwide uh, uh, music. Uh, exposure business I think you know I've been in it for the last 25 years and um, it's taken me all the way around the world and if I can have this project do it in this sort of new format new style I think that that's great so I want to push it as far as it can go but I, I'm not tripping off bread you know I've, I've, I've had a very successful long music career and uh, this is just like icing on the cake to be able to once again reinvigorate it by doing something new and exciting Got a big four four sitting on my porch, blowing a new port. In the middle of a war, my niggas we hold court. Plotting the course and rolling the rope in your court. When that thing would pop off, you hoping it's yours. What is it like being part of hieroglyphics? Oh, it's awesome. I get to work with my best friends and we travel all over the world. We get paid to travel all over the world. We've been indie for ooh, um, a couple of decades now and it's it's uh it's awesome i mean uh we're, we're in complete control of our destinies and we're not uh sort of under the thumb of the music industry so we can wiggle in ways that i think a lot of people can't for instance i'm a 25 year vet or 25 plus year vet of music and i'm coming out with brand new projects with completely different personas etc and sometimes i think if you're in that sort of major label system you're locked in and you can't switch up because people it's all about the product and you being a product. Mm -hmm. And this way, I just get to be. And uh, that's always been what hieroglyphics is about, like reinventing, creating word pictures, and um, doing it together. You know, not, not doing it, uh, so it's not all about solo and your name and the individual. It's the, sort of the fingers on the hand making a fist kind of concept. So I'm, I'm really fortunate to have been in this crew my whole life and us to have been uh, nurturing and protecting each other from a lot of the wild stuff that I think goes on in Oakland. I mean, we grew up in the worst part of Oakland, in the worst times in Oakland, and um, we made it because we joined together and did something positive. Just remember, 
Whatever you get, you deserve it. That's an awesome attitude to have in life. You know what I'm saying though? Whatever you get, you deserve it. So make some noise one time for just desserts, baby. I feel like there's some sort of intense unity you're saying you have together. Yeah. So you see each of yourselves succeed? Is that how you describe it? I really feel like we all understand that the, we, the sum is greater than its parts. Mm -hmm. And if we just stay down, we come up, you know, and all those uh, sort of slogans. But really when it comes down to it, uh, we're a family, a, a musical family, but also an actual family in all senses except blood. Hmm. And as a result of us being uh, unified, we've been able to, I think, avoid a lot of the pitfalls that people that don't have a support system or people whose support system is like a lot of leeches and sort of parasites mm -hmm. and vampires. We'd, I don't ever have to worry about that with regard to the people that I'm working with in my creative endeavors because they're, I've known them their whole lives and they're awesome. They want to see me win as much as I want to see them win. That's awesome. It's kind of like you guys are all the angels that got to stay in heaven. I, I, <laughs> all that, together, saving the world. That's a great, that's a great um, metaphor. I think, you know, life is what you make it. We, we have no idea what happens after. So for what's going on right now, this is great to me. I, I yes. love it. I love yeah, it. I agree. Do you want to talk about your recent interview with Sway? Oh, yeah. I was out in New York with Sway and I had... A, a caller called in about uh, the live show and it actually happened to be the homeboy Coop and uh, that was just crazy it was out of the blue but I think that a lot of people have been now mm -hmm. sort of waiting for uh, the live show experience mm -hmm. because Sway built that anticipation based on this phone call amazing thank you so much so happy I got to see you perform thanks for mm -hmm. staying out so late I mean it seems like this is your natural element one o'clock in the morning yeah, oh yeah this is when it starts hmm going down. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> hey, it's Mo Tooley, man. I'm a human ever seen. With my own piece of Afghanistan in this sandwich bag. To take a sandwich, you can cabbage in this camera's land. So I don't ever see any sandwiches battle plan. So I'm a piece of my soul. A piece of mine so my people can eat what I peep as I reap what I sold. It wasn't worth it. Too great of a cause. I'm here for another purpose. Perhaps I can regain what I'm lost.